In this uh, video, we, we will cover the book and catalog classes. It would be useful to take a look at the class diagram that um, is in the previous um, PowerPoint presentation for, that is for lecture seven. Uh, look at the class diagram for book and catalog and also maybe have a quick look at some of the sequence diagrams that involve these two classes. That would be useful, but um, let's take a look at uh, this class. All classes in this um, implementation in this version are a fairly uh, simpler um, are fairly simple in its implementation. For example, we are not using any uh, generics. Uh, we thought it would be uh, best not to do that at this point. We will use generics in the next version. Let's take a look at the book class. Um, uh, you, let's ignore all the documentation and uh, the uh, imports. Public class book implements serializable. Every class implements the serializable interface so that the library system can be serialized. You need um, this field called serial version user UID uh, for serialization purpose. Otherwise, you're, you're going to encounter some inconveniences when you use an earlier version of the serialized data. The fields are private, uh, title, author, ID, are um, supplied by the actor, then this field borrowed by use of type member. We haven't seen the member class obviously. And um, this field is uh, showing the member object corresponding to the member who has borrowed this book. If the Norban has borrowed the book, it would be null. Then we have a list of holes and the due date is of type calendar. This is a Java class, JDK class. You can see that java.util.calendar. This is the due date for the book. The constructor book gets title, author, ID. They are stored. Well, uh, when a book is issued, the library calls this method. You can see that from the sequence uh, diagram. And this is the member who is borrowing the book. So we set the borrowed by field to this member and we create a uh, Gregorian calendar instance that is stored in due date. Gregorian calendar is a class that implements uh, calendar. So we create this object, due date would now currently be the current time and day. We add one month to that. There is a little bit of um, error here. This is not perfect. It will be one month from the date. Okay, due date dot add to the current date, add one month. The Inaccuracy comes because the time will be not 11.59 p.m. or something like that. It will be the current time. So it is not perfect, but uh, in some sense, it is technically correct. It's one month from the current day. But uh, one could argue that you want to go almost till midnight, uh, not like 3 p.m. or something. You know, If you issue the book at 3 p.m. on September 15th, then it will be due October 15th at 3 p.m., not 11.59 p.m. So the, that is not very difficult to change if you want, and it always returns true. Return book, you have to undo the actions of issue. If borrowed by is null, there is nothing to return. This returns otherwise the, the object, the reference corresponding to the member 
who borrowed the book. So you copy borrowed by to this field or to this variable, not a field, and we return borrower. Renew the book. If uh, the book has a hold, return false. Otherwise, if the ID of the borrower is equal to the ID of the member who wants to borrow it, you call the issue method so that it will be issued for one more month. Place hold. A hold has object has already been created. We haven't seen the hold class yet, but uh, we have this field called holes, which stores all the holes. And so this would be storing that hold object in the list. Remove the hold, that is you want to remove the hold for a specific member. We go through the holes list, the list of all holes. And we use what is called a list iterator because this will allow us to remove the hold object. So we go through every hold object in the list of holes. We get a hold of that um, hold and then we get, um, we check whether this is, uh, this hold object is for that specific member. Every uh, hold has a member field. You get the member object, get the member's ID and check whether it is equal to the member for whom the hold has to be removed. If so, we remove the hold object from the list of holds and return true. If you can't find a hold for this member, return false here. This method returns a valid hold. The next valid hold, the book, as of course you have seen this before, has this list of holds and this is arranged in chronological order. So this has holds for many members and the first member who placed a hold would be at the beginning and the last member who placed a hold would be at the end. So we need to go through the holds for this book and pick the first hold that is valid. So look at every hold and remove it. And if it is a valid hold, return that hold. So this hold has been removed, right? Whenever you, I mean, whenever you service a hold, that hold has been um, taken care of, so you have to remove it. But you don't want to return it if it is not valid anymore. A hold is valid if the date is still current. And this checks whether the holds list is empty or not. So this is called at the time of returning a book, if there is a hold or not, that is the question. If uh, this list is not null, we will, or rather if this list has at least one element, we will return true, otherwise we return false. This returns a uh, iterator to the holes. Then there are a few getters here. And the equals and hash code method. And there is a two string method as well. Let's now look at uh, the catalog class. This is a singleton class. There is only one catalog and it is also an adapter. It uses um, the link list as an adaptee. So that takes care of uh, a great chunk of the code. I mean, the fact that, that it is a singleton means there is going to be a private constructor. That is uh, typically the case. And then we have the instance method that returns an instance or the only instance. And we have uh, this adaptee link list instantiated. 
So to search for a book with a given book ID, we go through each book and check whether the ID is equal to the incoming ID. If so, we return the book. To remove a book, we search for the book, get the book object, and if it is found, we remove it from the linked list using the remove method of linked list. Insert a book, add it using the adaptee. To return an iterator, get the iterator to the linked list. And there is a two string method here. 